Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Let's see here. Somebody wants to talk to you real soon here, whoever that person is. I'm just saying, I, yeah, I'm going, this card literally says I'm going to contact you soon. Y'all see this? I'm going to contact you soon. What else here? Who is this person? Yeah. Oh, somebody jealous. Somebody thinks that you're seeing other people or they think you're, you're not minding this person any business, are you, collective? You are not talking to this person because why else do they need to tell you that they're going to call you or text you soon or that they're, you're going to hear from them soon? They can't stand the fact that you have either moved on. That's why this per person is in this broken hearted energy. They're very jealous. Show me more about this broken hearted person. Yeah. See, when you were with this person, not the right time. When you were with this person, this person was overwhelmed with other responsibilities that they didn't either A, didn't want to tell you about. They thought they were going to be able to work it out. For some of y'all, that could be a third party. Somebody else could be overwhelmed with financial responsibility. So for some of y'all, this person, the overwhelming responsibilities could be anything. But definitely what I just got here was like, this person didn't have the time or the energy for a relationship or to give you what you deserved and what you needed, which is why you essentially left this alone you know why you gave this person some space show me more here about this person feeling brokenhearted about the collective so the only reason this person is feeling brokenhearted is because they think you moved on like okay well yeah wild side i'm telling you they feel like you guys are out here in these streets city boy city girls hot summer whatever okay hot boy summer whatever this is like Oh, you know what this energy is, collective? This person wants, is so jealous and enraged, like, and not in a negative way. I'm not getting that here. But it's like, this is somebody who, if they think that you've moved on, whether you have or you haven't, right? They're like, oh, they're about to come towards you and show you their wild side. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, they do want to have fun, too, but I feel like that involves some form of sexual encounter. Show me more about this person. Oh, yeah. This person has some wounds, you guys, from the past that have nothing to do with you here. And I feel like this could come from a mother or a grandmother here. The reason why I say that is because mother wounds is here. Okay. Um, their mother played a big influence on their behavior as an adult or their relationship with their mother did, whether this is something that their mother did to them in the past. So it's like this person watched their mother or their father, whoever, right? You know, it could be different for everybody here, but this person like has a lot to heal here. Hmm. And that stuff from the past needs to be let go. And this person is realizing the stuff from the past, how it's taking an influence on, having an influence. And all of these over feeling overwhelmed with responsibilities, Ten of Wands energies is become, is, ooh, excuse me, is stemming from what they saw as a child. And now it's having an effect on how they deal with these things as an adult. It, it, it affects how they deal with divine feminine. Let's keep it real. You know, it does. This person, I'm telling, oh, this person wants to have, wants you to have their children. This person wants you to have their children and they want you to unblock them here in here. <laughs> wow. I miss you and want to connect. Please unblock me so we can speak. I have a lot to say. So if you just unblock this person, they want for those of you who want to hear from them okay you know everyone can feels differently about this person some of y'all don't want this person back and that's a-okay but this person wants to have a family with you and they feel like you would be actually being a pretty amazing parent um and they sit around and daydream about that one day having that with you one day give me one more i got two i got three okay I did not just say literally this person fantasizes about having a family a family with you. This card literally says you're my fantasy. I have pictures, videos saved of you and use them for inspiration. I want you. Wow. Your perfection, your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure 
how I attracted someone like you in my life, but I am grateful forever. You are perfection collective, whether you resonate as the divine masculine or the divine feminine. This person actually thinks the world of you, but I do feel like because of these mother wounds and this healing that this person needs to do here, there was some issues. This person has trouble or they did, right? Because I feel like some of this is past energy. They had issues with emotionally opening up to you and being vulnerable this person really wants to be raw and authentic with you but like they still haven't done that they still haven't done that i feel like this person even though there's nobody that compares to you this person's problem as to why they want to rush towards you now is only because they think you moved on to somebody else whether it's true or not this card literally says and we just talked about this because this jealousy in energy is out here, right? This person doesn't want me to tell you this because I couldn't even pick this card up. It says jealousy. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. Okay. I heard you were dating somebody. Is it true? Please tell me it is not true. So I feel like some kind of like somebody wants to like get in the bed with you just to kind of like distract you from this new person. For those of you who have moved on, they feel like sex can make it better. It's not. Regardless of if, you know, you are, no, if nobody compares to you or not, I, I don't feel like it's going to work. But, you know, I don't know. Show me what else here. They, you could be dealing with the Gemini, magician energy. Oh, yeah, this person's trying to manifest you back. Okay, they they feel like you abandoned them and you left them out in the cold. And they're thinking about what do I have to do to get the collective back in like they're trying to get back in your good graces wow this person feels stuck and alone oh my gosh no wonder they're over here feeling heart heartbroken and like geez they could be a pisces or a gemini yeah man there's some healing taking place here there's some healing taking place here with this four of swords i feel like you're not saying anything this person's not saying anything they're definitely doing a lot of dreaming and thinking about you. They feel stuck. They don't know what to do. Holding back. Yeah. Oh, man. This could totally be you holding back from them. I feel like they're trying to find the strength to do everything they can to continue to hold back from you. You could be dealing with the Leo here, but maybe for you, it's taking everything in you to hold back from this person because they were, um, you know, sleeping around, seeing other people. This is definitely somebody here that was not dependable, hot and cold, in and out. They weren't reliable, night and wise. It was a lot of fun, right? Remember we saw that wild sign energy? This is somebody here who really feels like Oh, yeah, let's have a lot of fun. But it's like, where's the rest of that substance? Like, do you have anything else to offer? Yeah, King of Wands. Can't make this up. King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This, for some of y'all, this person was not giving equally. So that's why you blocked them. Or they were giving to somebody else. Or what? whether it was time. I feel like it was time and energy. So you cut it off. You, you cut it off. All right, so how are they currently feeling here? Is this person going to take any action other than... Well, what is this person going to say since they're going to co contact my collective? What is this person going to say when they contact them? They're going to talk to you about all these burdens they've been going through, what's going on in their life, what's been stressing them out. For some of y'all, they might even want to tell you they're getting ready to move or they want to just tell you like what's what's been the problems they've been having in their life and why they're so stressed out. They might even be telling you about something ending here. This person definitely did go through something. Yeah, there's an ending. Scorpio energy. With the Ten of Wands, this person's definitely ending something. Death and rebirth. Hmm. So there's an energy of healing. And this person is actually thinking... So I'm not saying, you know, I, just based on what I'm seeing out here already, this person is actually, actually looking back on the past. They are actually thinking about how, what got them here to this point. Oh, look at what's playing. Drew Hill, Beauty. Beauty is her name. Um, Literally, you are perfection. Your beauty amazes me. I can't make this up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm telling you. What is this person going to tell my collective? So they're going to call you, contact you, and say, 
they're ending something here. They're, they're going to tell you all about their stress. What else does this person want to tell the collective? Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. King of Cups, Three of Wands, King of Pentacles, and a Knight of Swords. Uh, Y'all might have two options, several options here. <clears throat> with this Three of Wands being here with this King of Cups and this King of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to put those back because that's too many that came out. What else does this person want to tell the collective when they contact them? Ooh, they're ending this toxic behavior. Or they're ending a toxic connection. Capricorn, Scorpio energy, possibly. I'm about to get more information on that, though. What does this person want to tell? They could be detaching from toxic people, friends. They are realizing some, some toxic behaviors for sure. And they might be ready to change. Show me more. Okay, they might be learning a spiritual lesson. Taurus energy, the Hierophant. Show me more here. That's too many. Somebody could be into something here. The world card, the queen of wands, and the... I, don't, I want one card, please, spirit. One card. One more card. Thank you. Four of Wands. Clarify this Four of Wands. Somebody here could be, yeah, Ten of Cups. Somebody here could be ending something that a relationship, a long term relationship, moving out away from a home, moving away from a partner or someone they have children with here. Okay. Ten of Cups is here. Four of Wands is here. And the Hierophant is here. Um, but we know with this ten of wands, death and death and rebirth and the devil, yeah, it's taking this to happen. It's taking a long time. Knight of yeah, ten of pentacles. This has been a long time coming. I feel like, yeah, three of swords. I'm telling you, whatever's going on in this home or in this situation, it's been going on for a very, very long time. A very toxic connection. Oh well. All right, so what else does the collective need to know about this person and, and their intentions towards them when they contact them? Choices. Psychic. So this person feels like you have a strong, strong psychic intuition. You could have already told this person like they were going to have to end up making a choice. Yeah. Your intuition scares this person. Like, they're realizing that you knew them almost better than they know themselves. It's like you saw something in this person before they were ready to admit it. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's true or not, it's like, well, not whether it's true or not, but whether they were ready to accept the truth. Because sometimes people are not ready to see things. They're in denial is what I really mean. This person was like stuck in a rock and a hard place like, It's like this person is having to choose between love and fear. They understand that they met you. They didn't just meet you by chance. Okay. But they know that staying by choice is the difference. Right? And they stayed in another relationship by choice. And you may have told this person... Yeah, I, yeah this person gave you excuse after excuse. I know you're tired of hearing my excuses. All talk, no action. Mm, 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 mm. I've been programmed to focus on tangible items. What is right in front of me? Yeah, this person was in a connection, a toxic connection with somebody else all because of money. They chose to stay because of stability and money. What else here for the collective? Y'all hit the like button. Yeah, I told you. Secrets. Secrets. Secrets, silence. I'm telling you, I'm a complicated person with many hidden secrets. I keep us keep us a secret for a reason. Here's the thing. This secret has nothing to do with you. I feel like the secret has everything to do with this person. 
This is somebody here that has a lot of secrets. They have a lot of they have a lot of pain. They've gone through a lot of trauma in the past with, with a parent. Okay, whatever they experienced in a home or with a parent or within a family dynamic, whether it be it it it, it just really formed this person's like belief system, which needs to be rebuilt, right? With the death and rebirth card. So this tells me somebody just recently experienced a tower moment because you don't just, we don't just see the Ten of Wands and the Death card and the Devil for no reason. Somebody experienced the tower. But the thing is, you have a, you already knew this, these secrets this person had. That's why this person is so afraid of you. That's why they feel like you saw them like for who they really were. Even if they didn't tell you, this person feels like you knew the truth yep perception i'm telling you this person's perception that that hangman energy i'm telling you they were only able to see what they could wanted to see they didn't see your worth because they were stuck in something else because they were only consult this was somebody only concerned about money the tangible things you know, this person's mother could have raised them to feel like, you know, to, to only focus on money and stability within a home. And I'm not saying that that's not relevant in a connection because it is, but that can't be the only thing. Yep. And this person's pretending and wearing a damn mask. I'm tired of pretending that I'm happy without you. The silence is killing me. Y'all see that? I'm telling you, this person is about to call you. Love offer. I want to offer you the world and I promise you will have the best version of me. Well, here's the deal. I do feel like somebody is changing. Show me this death card energy. Communication. So somebody in heart, I, keep, I can't make it up. Heart, heartbroken. The wrong choice was made and now they sit in the pain of losing you. For some of y'all, this heartbreak is over them choosing money over love. 3D, okay? But what they should have chose was what was in the 5D. You made me realize that you are the one. Meet me in the stars tonight. But what they chose in reality was this 3D, you know, money, everything on the outside looks good, but this is how they feel on the inside. Heartbroken heartbroken and now this person is about to communicate with you like i said because they miss you okay communication and career driven energy is here okay love is on the back burner until i i am financially stable money motivated yeah this person still has an issue with that so just know this person either is going through a lot of financial difficulty right now and that's been the delay other than the fact that them having to like rebuild and go through this death and rebirth process and detach from something um, or some something someone toxic. Yeah, but they're emotional. I'm telling you going through an array of emotions unstable. Dang, somebody might suffer from some form of personality disorder. That's not for everybody, okay? What is this? Enchanted. The more I see you, the more I love you and adore you. My heart cries out for you. So this person is watching you on social media somewhere. My views on relationships are distorted from past experiences. I can't make this up. We already talked about that. Literally. So that's what this is, you guys. I don't know if I need to do, like you know keep but let me pull from a different day what else does the collective need to know here somebody's past wounds and their past trauma okay is what affected something money love whatever it is like this person had a hard time choosing they chose money over love they chose the 3d over the 5d right um I feel like spirit here is telling you when this person comes back that to ask yourself, does this situation align with your morals and your values? You know what I mean? Like 
because there definitely was an unequal give and take with that king of wands. You could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, a Scorpio. Um, who else does I say here? Um, Capricorn, um, Pisces, Taurus. Yeah, you know, there was an imbalance. Like one person was giving way too much in the connection and I feel like that was you. And I feel like the only reason you did that is because there was like a very strong mutual attraction and you felt like a soul tie with this person. Like, you know, very strong soul tie. But spirit is telling you here, you already know this. This is why you let this person go. But this also could be advice for when this person comes back around and they want to talk to you. For those of you who choose to want to talk with this person, that keep keep that in mind. Base, you know, use your wisdom. But um, yeah, let's see who else you could be. What are the zodiac signs you could be dealing with? Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you need a personal reading, that information will be below in the description box. We have Pisces, Libra, Virgo, and Capricorn here, okay? And I'm seeing Aquarius on the top of this. So, but you can be dealing with any sign, okay? I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.